ACE certified personal trainer and author of the recent ACE certified article on high intensity interval training for older adults. If you're like me and probably thousands of other fitness professionals, you're probably concerned about doing high intensity exercise with adults who might be a few years older. Well, here's something to think about. Adults who are now in their 50s, 60s, and 70s have probably been exercising over the course of their entire lifespan. In fact, older adults right now in their 60s and 70s are among the first generations of adults to ever exercise throughout the entire duration of their adulthood. The research suggests that HIIT training is not only good for an older population, but it could be good for older adults dealing with chronic illnesses as well. You can read about all the details in the article. But one of the things I want to do is give you a practical example about how you can apply a little bit of HIIT training with your clients. One of the most famous HIIT protocols is the Tabata protocol. Dr. Zumi Tabata came up with this protocol back in the 1990s when he was working with, with Japanese speed skaters. What the Tabata protocol is, is it's four minutes of exercise. But in that four minutes, the user is doing eight cycles of high intensity interval training. Each cycle of high intensity exercise is 20 seconds, followed by only 10 seconds of passive recovery. 10 seconds is just barely enough time to <gasps> catch your breath. So here's the thing. If you're doing HIT with an older population, or even if you're doing HIT with a deconditioned population, number one, HIT is safe. But number two, we have to adjust HIT for their needs. We cannot expect somebody who's a little bit older or somebody who's deconditioned to be able to do the same workout that you can do. But what we can do is modify a workout like Tabata and make it adjustable for somebody who's deconditioned so they can do it successfully. And that's my goal. For every, for every person I work with, I want them to be successful in that training session. I'll say that again. My goal is I want every person to finish a training session feeling like they were successful for that workout. So I don't want to give my clients a workout that's going to be too hard for them. I want to give them a workout that's going to engage them and challenge them and not only make them work hard, but be over before they know it. And that's one of the most interesting things about the research on HIT is that people who like HIT love it because you know what, it's only a little bit of exercise, but you get a lot of benefits. What I'm going to show you today is the body interval that's not four minutes, it's been modified down to two minutes. This is a perfect place to start when you're working with those older adults or those deconditioned individuals and you want to give them a little bit of high intensity exercise, but you don't want to push it too hard. I like saving this till the end of the workout. Number one, they're 100% warm. Number two, this is the last bit of hard work I want them to do. Now here's a little bit about psychology. You could do a great workout for a client. You could have them mobilize, you can have them go through stability mobility exercises. They could be moving better, they could be feeling stronger, but they're always gonna remember that last thing they did. So I'm a huge fan of programming my hit intervals at the end of the workout with my clients. Because I want my clients to finish that workout and feel like, whew, I am glad we're done. So whether it's two minutes like we're about to do, whether it's four minutes or whether it's a little bit longer, I never do a hit interval longer than six or seven minutes. Seven minutes the absolute longest I go. Anything in between that is between like two and seven minutes. That's how I do my hit programming. So what we're about to do is only a two minute Tabata. You can use it, you can use other exercises, but I wanted to show you how you can modify a standard protocol and make it work for your older clients or your clients that could use the benefit of hit but they don't need the full four, six, eight, however many minutes. Because here's what we know about HIT. With HIT, it's not the duration, it's the intensity that makes the biggest difference. I'll say that again. What we know about high intensity interval training is it's not the duration, it's the intensity. So what we're about to do with a two minute Tabata is we're gonna do four 20 second cycles. That's only 80 seconds of high intensity exercise. But is that enough to start making gains or is that enough to start making changes with a deconditioned individual? Absolutely. So we want to start here, start with two minutes and build from there. We don't need to start at the highest. We need to start small and build from there. So that's what I want you to pay attention to today. That yes, we're doing high intensity interval training. Yes, this is for an older adult population, but we are only going to do two minutes of it. And if I were coaching one of my clients, I would tell them to go as hard as they feel comfortable. And if I saw, if I saw they're starting to get flush, if I saw they couldn't catch their breath, it is done. It is over immediately. Because we do need to keep in mind that this is high intensity exercise, 
So yes, they're gonna be out of breath, but if we see something that's abnormal, if we see a client that can't catch their breath all the way, the workout is done and we gotta stop it right there. So what we're gonna to do today, very basic, very easy, we're gonna do jumping jacks and fast squats. And I'll show you easy ways to modify that. What I've done is I have my, I have my timer right here, I have my iPad, so I'm just gonna go ahead and hit start. I've already a little warmed up, but I wanted to show you how you can modify a standard protocol to make it work for your clients. So let's get ready. The first one I'm gonna do is jumping jacks and let's go. So I'm doing jumping jacks for 20 seconds. Quick, fast pace. If you're like me, you probably never imagined that you'd be using your apartment or your home for a film studio all this during the shelter in place. But yep, here we are, living room slash TV studio and relax. So now we've got 10 seconds off and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do fast squats. I am showing you exercises that we can easily modify. If I wanna modify the jumping jacks, we can do that. So I'm gonna start with fast squats. Boom, boom. This is fast. Quick, quick, down and up. The whole idea is we wanna get people working hard. We wanna keep people breathing quick. Good, now I'm gonna jump for 10 seconds. So the first 10, we're squatting in place. The second 10 are gonna be the jumps. And then relax. So notice on the jumps, we want to land softly. So on the second, so we're only doing two minutes. So I'm only doing one more set of each. Now I'm going to show you a little modification here. We're doing a divide interval. I'm showing you the modification. So if you have clients that need to go a little bit easier, this is one option. Another option, for older adults sometimes have a hard time taking their arms overhead. So seal jacks are a favorite. Just bring them right out in front. So slow, fast, seal jacks, whatever it is, you want people to move for 20 seconds. So we got one more interval, one more squat interval. Three, Let's get ready. One, there you go. Down. Quick. Fast. Boom. Push those feet right into the ground. There we go. Push. Push. 10 seconds. Good. Drive. Push. Push. Two. One. Boom. Whew. All right. There we go. So, only two minutes of a divide interval. That was four 20 second cycles. 80 seconds of exercise. Now, as you can tell, I'm a little bit gassed, as we should be. Now, here's the thing again, the research suggests that it's the intensity. If you want HIIT training to have the biggest result, focus on coaching people for the intensity, not the duration. It's better to start with shorter workouts. Two minutes is a perfect starting place. Heck, even one minute is a perfect starting place. Start with shorter workouts of higher intensity and build from there. So whether you're working with an older adult population, whether you're working with deconditioned individuals, like myself, <laughs> you always, when it comes to high intensity interval training, it's better to start small and build up. Again, Pete McCall on behalf of American Council on Exercise, thank you for stopping by, and please take a look at the A-certified article high intensity interval training for the older adult client.